Hi guys, Darth Deuce here with another Star Wars action figure review. And today we're going to take a look at a couple of the five POA Star Wars figures. And the first one we're going to take a look at is the Fifth Brother. Now I'm not a huge collector of these five point of articulation figures, but there are a couple I didn't did kind of want to get. And the Fifth Brother is definitely one I wanted to get. I've gotten the uh, Rebels Darth Vader and the Rebels uh, Grand Inquisitor. Um, and I kind of want to get all the Inquisitors and stuff because they are Dark Jedi and whatnot. So I want to put them with my Dark Jedi Sith collection. And I wanted to add this guy to the collection. And I just recently found them at my store. It's been a while. Uh, for some reason, this guy has been fairly elusive for me to find. But I finally have him in hand. And first off, we're going to take a look at the packaging. So I actually really like the packaging with these five PA figures. It's one of the good things about them. Um, it stays more true to the how Star Wars were usually packaged with the uh, card back. Um, the card back is actually quite thick and quite durable, like this isn't going to bend and crease easily. Uh, it still does, you still go to the store and find them all bent out of shape and all that, but these do stay in shape a bit better. Um, you can just feel it. But you got the uh, Kylo Ren emblem right there, you got Star Wars. You got the figure in the packaging with the build of a weapon the gimmick thing there. Fifth Brother, multiple languages, because it's a Canadian card. A cool image of the Fifth Brother there. Um, on the back here you got the rest of the figures of the way which were all at the store. Um, a little bio there for the fifth brother which says a towering presence. The fifth brother in Quister is tasked to hunt the rebels by Darth Vader himself, a man of few words. He uses his intimidating physicality and brute strength to try and best the rebel crew and capture the elusive Jedi. And he got instructions for like the build a weapon and whatnot. That's pretty much the packaging. I do like the packaging a lot. If you're an on-card collector then these uh, five PO figures would still be kind of um, cool to collect because these packaging is actually quite nice. Um, Fifth Brother is a character you know. Um, he's probably my least favorite Inquisitor. He's just not overly interesting um, to me but he still is cool. Um, I'm happy to have him and now we're going to get him out of the packaging. We'll take a closer look at the figure. Alright so I have the Fifth Brother the packaging and for the most part this is a pretty cool figure. Um, for what it is anyways it's a really cool figure. Um, I don't have any problems with it uh, in terms of what it is, and I already expected that going in, obviously. So we'll take a closer look here. Um, so he he sculpt-wise and everything, he looks pretty nice. Um, a little bit of fun fact, uh, the Fifth Brothers uh, design um, and what he's wearing all that is inspired from concept art of, I think, Kylo Ren for The Force Awakens. So that's pretty cool. Or at least Knight of Ren concept, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, he has this funky looking helmet or hat or whatever he wears, which I think has always looked kind of goofy. I don't really know what the, what the deal is with that, but he's wearing the little helmet thing, which is cool. Uh, the face could have used some more detail. Um, he does have the white eyes and he does have lips actually painted in, but there is supposed to be a bit more detail on his face. Unfortunately, they didn't put it sculpted in there, but it's not a huge deal. Got some nice paint apps on the helmet though. I took, I looked at the two, there were two of them at the store and I picked the other one had the best paint apps. Uh, the black on this guy is really nice, the nice glossy black. He's got some really nice Imperial logos painted on his shoulders there with some nice silver and red paint apps. And some nice sculpting going on. Some more sculpting going on there with the belt and the forearmer. This nice glossy black, I really like that a lot. He's got this nice sort of pattern on his torso there. Um, his armor design is similar, but a little different to the Inquisitors, which I will show in a moment. More like glossy black armor, silver belt buckle, the gray with these little darker gray stripes, some sculpting for the de detail of the clothing, and black glossy boots, which I look pretty cool. And sculpt-wise, he really does look pretty cool. I don't have really many complaints, and even paint apps are not bad at all on this guy. Um, I don't have much complaints when it comes to that either. Um, he also is quite a big figure. He's just bigger and he is um, a bit taller than your average uh, figure as well, which is pretty cool, which is he, he's supposed to be. Now in terms of articulation, uh, you should know what you're getting into when you're getting into these figures. It's pretty limited. Uh, you got a ball joint in the head. Oops which uh, only goes up a bit, doesn't really go down, and rotates into a little bit of pivot. Uh, rotation of the shoulders, which aren't hindered by the armor. The armor is actually a softer plastic, which is rubbery plastic, which is kind of cool, so you can actually get it rotating all around. Um, so that's cool. And then you got the swivels at the hips. And then that's all you're going to get for articulation, which again sucks. It would have been nice to get a fully articulated version of Sky, but not a big deal. 
Now, in terms of accessories, of course, he does come with the build a figure or build a weapon uh, piece, um, which is this claw thing. It has a handle where he could hold it, I guess, and you can actually kind of move the uh, claw. And, you know, for a kid, this might be entertaining, but, you know, for a collector, it's pretty much just junk. It, you can't even really use this for anything. Um, he does, like I said, has a handle, so I guess if you wanted to, uh, if you, yeah, you can get him to hold it, but then he's, like, super top-heavy. Like, he's only going to hold it if you have him, like, pelvic thrusting. But you can do that, I guess. But it's pretty much junk. I'm not going to use that. But then the accessory he does come with is his lightsaber, his double blade uh, Inquisitor lightsaber, which is cool. It is different from the uh, Grand Inquisitors. He has a different hilt, which is a bit bigger. It's gray with some nice black and silver paint detail. He has these lightsaber blades. They're actually quite thin, a lot thinner than most other lightsaber blades I've seen on Star Wars figures. It has a nice red blade, and there's actually no lightsaber flare on the end, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but that's cool. Um, it is a nice accessory. You can put it in his hand, um, like so, I think, if it wants to. His hands look quite tight, so I think it might be just a bit of a pain to get it in there. I've never I've put it in his hand yet. Well, you can take my word for it that it does go in his hand. It just doesn't want to because it's so... Oh, here we go. I got it in there. So, yeah, so you can hold the lightsaber tightly. Um, of course, again, like... You should know you're not going to get any crazy poses. You can pretty much have him holding the weapon up. Or you can have him just kind of resting the weapon. But he still looks pretty cool. Um, I, can't compl I can't complain too much. Uh, for what it is, it is cool. Again, I think for retail, these guys are a little overpriced for not having any articulation. But it is a cool figure. Um, I'll give you a quick comparison. Here he is next to the Grand Inquisitor, which I do like the Grand Inquisitor better. But you can just get a sense of scale there. Um, as the uh, fifth brother is significantly taller, which makes sense, but they look really good together. And then Darth Vader, which looks really cool. Darth Vader is about the same height. Um, the fifth brother might actually be slightly taller, but um, which is cool. Um, I think these guys look really good together. If anything, that's the main reason why I got the fifth brother. It's, is he look really cool together? You get them flanking, uh, get them flank him, flanking Darth Vader, like that, and they do look pretty cool together. Um, so overall, I think it's a cool figure. Um, if you're into collecting the five PA figures, you're into Rebels or or collecting Dark Jedi and Sith f figures like I am, then I think he's definitely uh, worth the purchase. Uh, that being said, if you're not a 5 POA person and you don't really care about Rebels or anything like that, you don't really, just not interested in the character, then it's an easy pass too. So it really just depends on if you like the character or not, or the genre of character. Uh, but anyways, that's my review. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next review. May the Force be with you.